this and the colleagues in Parliament, we have been fighting uh, to try and raise issues in the Westminster Parliament about what is happening in Catalonia. And I have to say that I think it is really quite shocking uh, and puts the Spanish state into a very sad position in the eyes of the world when we consider the way in which they appear to be abusing the judicial process, both to use it as a substitute for political dialogue in the first place, and then to impose the most vicious and punitive sentences on people who were standing up for the democratic rights of the people of Catalonia. I raised in Parliament before we broke up uh, that it was shocking the prison sentences that have been imposed uh, on the leaders of the Catalan resistance and was ashamed actually to be a member of that parliament and see the Foreign Office Minister just illustrate complete indifference to the plight. Uh, a Foreign Office Minister is very keen to pontificate about human rights when it's a country where he disagrees with the political uh, stance of the government but not when he wants to do it closer to home. I was until recently, and I hope to be again, a member of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, and myself and my colleague Hannah Bardell uh, will be raising at the January meeting if we're in a position to do so, that the Council of Europe should find out an inquiry into Spain, because the actions they have taken have rendered them incompatible with the, with the membership of the Council of Europe. Uh, it, is, it is part of the requirement to be a member of the Council of Europe that you respect and uphold human rights and that there is a judicial system which is fair for everyone. And I think manifestly that is not the case in the Spain of today. And just briefly, you know, we don't know what's going to happen this afternoon. I hope very soon Clara will be free to join us and to continue the campaign. Uh, but I call upon our own courts to be very clear this afternoon because the arrest warrant itself that has been issued for Clara illustrates in its very execution the contempt which the Spanish courts have for the international judicial process. The way in which it wasn't even properly documented and presented. And I hope that our courts here in Scotland will demonstrate very clearly that we are not prepared in the name of Spain to have our judicial system abused in the same way that the Spanish government seems content to abuse its own judicial system. So I, so I hope very much, and I know we're all expecting that Clara will be free to join us soon and we will continue this campaign. And as I say, we need to say loud and clear, she's here in Scotland, she's not going anywhere.